today's video is the infamous poodle haul and I will have Udi on camera and you guys will get to meet her. Let's start with some basic information about Udi. We brought Udi home on November 5th, 2016. Um, she is a standard poodle. She is four months of age. Her birthday is July 27th. She is a apricot standard poodle and she has 11 siblings. In case you're wondering, the breeder we did get her at is called Probert's Way um, Standard Poodles and Overhassy Goats. I don't think that's how you say that, but it's a farm in um, upstate New York, Hutton to be exact. I'm not saying that right either, but hey. We did have a Mastiff, his name was Clifford. He passed away at age nine, sadly. Um, October 6, 2016. So that was definitely heartbreaking for us. And we were not intending on bringing her home this early. Um, we we had gotten in touch with this breeder. We loved how she did things. She does um, different diversity tests, um, which basically poodles are insanely inbred to the point that it's sickening. Um, they're you know, breeding brother and sister, mother and daughter, you know, that kind of thing, just to make more money, puppy mills, you know, that that's who is the culprit here. So before you bring any dog home and before you are serious about bringing any dog into your life, please be sure that this is not a puppy mill. Um, rescue when possible, obviously, we would have loved to rescue, but unfortunately, you don't know what, what kind of situation they're coming from. You don't know um, if they are from puppy mills. You know, you don't know any of that. And we just wanted to play it on the safe side as our last dog was a fear biter. So we absolutely love the family. This was their first litter of puppies. And we got in contact with them and asked them if they had a spring summer litter. And we were expecting to bring a puppy home after our cruise February 25th, 2017. So, um, in a couple months, we, in, you know, six to eight months, next summer, we would definitely have her. And we were like, and they were like, yeah, you know, but the mother didn't give birth to this litter and go into heat until like May. She went into heat. So we're not going to have a litter ready for you guys till September. That was 11 months away because we were talking about this in October. And we just knew that we couldn't wait that long. I've wanted a poodle since I saw Ollie on the Fry Life. Shout out to you guys. I'm sure you're not actually watching this, but shout out to you guys. Um, Ollie is an angel, and that is what made me want a standard poodle. And we got an apricot, just like Ollie. Let's get on with the things we purchased. Okay, so I got her this super cute little chest. Little, I don't think so. And it just looks like that. And it has little rope handles on the side. And I got her this because I am actually redoing my room. So this is kind of a, also an announcement. Um, we are redoing my room and we are go I'm going to have a new filming location. I bought this because it's going to kind of look good in my room. So I would like to keep her stuff in this in the future. So when you open it up, we just have all her stuff in it like this. And I know it's crazy the amount of stuff that like is actually in here, but I'm going to try to like quickly speed through it all. Um, and we're going to start with toys. So first things first is this little adorable pink pig. And my grandmother actually gave this to Udi on, and she's on my dad's side. And it's just like this little squeaky piggy. Next up is this squeaky pink Jack. And I love this. If I zoom in, you can see how it's like a rubberized kind of material and it's so fun to play with and it like spins as a top. I don't know, it's really cool. It used to squeak, but my dad broke it. Him and Udi must have been playing and they kind of broke it, so. Hi. Udi just walked in my room. <laughs> um, so it's really neat and it's just like really bouncy when you throw it and she actually, this is also another one of her favorites. Next is this little monkey, looks like a sock monkey, and its head and its feet are, and its hands are leather, and then the rest is made out of this tan kind of rope material. She likes to chew on its head, and this isn't, I wouldn't say this is one of her top toys, but she does like it. 
She's like, hey, why are you taking all my toys? This is her squeaky little ball. She loves tennis balls. Me and my mom will sit <clears throat> with our legs apart, like across from each other and roll our balls. And she has like eight balls. So we like throw them back and forth and she like goes crazy and tries to, you know, get them and like pounces on us. And it's super fun. So this one actually happens to squeak. If you guys want one of these, if your dog likes squeaky things, she likes squeaky things and she likes balls. So I picked this up and she really likes it. Then here's another ball. We bought this at Burlington and it's just like this kind of rubbery gel outside with a tennis ball in it. Um, it's a little bit awkward for her to hold in her mouth because she's tiny right now. But when she grows up, she, um, we think she'll get more use out of this. But she liked this. This thing is one of her favorites. I picked this out special because it's leopard print and it's just super cute. It has like a crinkly little, I guess you'd call it like a tail. It's just like this crinkly and it kind of is like I think she like tore up the crinkle or something it does not crinkle like nearly as much as it used to but it used to crinkle a lot and then it's just this big ball and she loves to chew on this and it squeaks and it's so loud but she likes to chew on this and she like drives us nuts with this but she loves it and we also like to throw this back and forth to her next we have another one of her favorites she has like so many favorite toys it's crazy but this is a little it's a bear Can't get it. Okay, it's a little orange bear. It's just like a long, it's supposed to look like a bear skin. And it, you, the whole thing used to crinkle, but all the crinkle like went down in the bottom. So, she likes this and she likes to chew on his head. This next thing is just a plain old rope. She's not a big rope dog because she's not quite big enough to play tug of war yet. She's only 26 pounds. So, um, Obviously, this hasn't gotten a ton of love, and it's not one of her favorites, but she plays with it from time to time. Yet another ball. This is just a pink tennis ball, kind of self-explanatory. Um, and she really likes this one, although it doesn't have any give to it. Like, it feels like a big rock. We have another rope. I think she likes this a little bit better because it has more give to it than the blue one does. Again, not huge into ropes unless they're, like, already torn apart. She got a hold of one of Boo Boo's. Clifford, we... His nickname's Boo Boo. And she, like, had a really good time, like, tearing it apart the rest of the way. Next, this was actually Boo Boo's when he was a puppy. And we didn't give her a whole lot of his toys because they are kind of sentimental. But this was something he grew out of, and it was just this little tire. And this is the thing she got a rope from. It used to have a rope right here. And he, like, tore most of it off, but it had, like, some strings. And she, like, pulled those little strings out, and she had a good time with that. This is just, like, a little tire, and we like to roll this to her. And she'll chase it. It's super cute. Then this was Boo Boo, and it's hilarious. Um, this is, like, this big braided kind of rope ball, and, like, obviously it's, like, I can't even get two of my hands around it. It's huge, and she likes to pick it up by, like, a, like one of these, like, little sections and, like, try to carry it around. It's, like, really awkward and hilarious, but she likes it because it's too big for her, so obviously she likes it because dogs always like what are too big for them. Next, we have this cute little Scooby-Doo. When I was younger, I loved Scooby-Doo so much. It's just like this little rope. And it doesn't squeak or anything, but she likes to chew like on him and his head. She likes rubbery things. So this was a neat little find. Next, um, this was really, really sweet. This was given to us by the daughter of the breeder. Um, and it, it's like she braided, she had three braid, three different braids, and then she braided the braids. It's just like made out of fleece and it's really cute and she really likes to chew on this. So thank you guys. This is Gatorade bottle. Kind of self-explanatory. She likes to chew on this. And this is a straw. She loves straws and like that's what she played with on the ride home. And oh my gosh, it's hilarious. So she absolutely loves straws. It's a cheap dog toy, but she loves them. We have this cute little pink bone. It's like the worst squeaker ever. Ready? Listen. She still likes it though. Oops. This is a dog fa doggy favorite classic, the Kong, and it's like Chihuahua sized. Um, Boo Boo had one that was like huge, but we, um, we like to fill it with peanut butter instead of like the white stuff in the can because that's really expensive. Um, she loves this. If we ever need to like trim her nails or like brush her or something, we give her some peanut butter in her Kong. It is all natural though, so it is a lot healthier. And then. We have another one of those kind of rubbery balls, except this one has like a lattice kind of all over it. It came in a pack of two with that other one. And she tends to like that bone one better than this one, but she still plays with this. This thing. Oh my gosh. So we got this at a yard sale for Clifford and he didn't like it. 
So we gave it to her and we cut the nose off because we were afraid she was going to like choke on it. She like ripped like all the stuffing out of his head. And it's like her, she loves this thing. It's hilarious to watch her play with it. And then somewhere around here, she has a couple more balls and she has this like little pink stocking. It's like this big. It's like a checkered print. And she really likes that. It's kind of like the pig. It's like the same material. I didn't include it because I can't find it. She hid it under my bed or something. So, um, it's not included, but she likes that one as well. Now, I'm going to show you some of the like cutesy things I got for her. I am obsessed with dog sweaters. We got her two sweaters before we even got her. And then we got our third. So she only has two right now because she's still growing. I don't want to waste a ton of money on sweaters that she's going to grow out of. So this one she's actually almost too big for. It's this cute little gray one. It's like, it just looks like this. And it has little leg holes. She loves it. It's a medium and it's actually, it's tight. We like her. Large is a little bit too big. Medium's like too small. She's in between. So this is my favorite. Um, And we have like pictures of her in this. And it's just this burgundy sweater. And it actually has a hood, which she doesn't like very much, but, you know, we don't put it on her anyways. We just took a couple pictures with her hood up, but then it has these little leg holes. So, she doesn't um, really mind this one, but it actually, like, hangs a lot under her stomach. So, it's not really practical right now for her to run and play in, but it's super, super cute in pictures, and I got it to match. I wore this shirt on Thanksgiving, and I got it to kind of match that, so I really like that one on her. I think that's my personal favorite. And then her last little sweater is this one. And oh my gosh, this is like, um, that burgundy one and this one are like tied. I love this one. It's this. It's so cute. And she kind of looks like sausage in this one too, but hey. And it has like little slits for leg holes. It's so cute. We got it at Walmart for like five bucks. And this is a, this is a large. It's actually a little tight. The extra large would have been way too big. And then we have treats. Um, she has two bones right now. This is one. This is actually a bone. My grandfather is a meat cutter, and um, he got her this little bone. And she, she loves it. She chews on this, um, like, a lot. And she likes to try to pull, like, this off. This is one of those peanut butter-filled bones. She actually got all the peanut butter out. But she still likes to chew on it from time to time, obviously, because she has, like, the whole inside, like, chewed. <laughs> so this is pretty funny. And then for some of Udi's favorite snacks. Um, these are the Chinolas by Purina. Um, and they just look like little granola bars. They're actually really cool. And they don't smell very good, though. Um, she really likes these, but the only problem is she gets them all over her forearms because she has such long fur, so we only give them to her before she gets a bath. And we have a hard time finding dog treats because I, we don't want them to contain BHA or BHG. Known to cause cancer, it's a preservative, and it, um, it should not be in any dog toy treats. So before you purchase your dog toy treats, be sure to check the ingredients on the back to be sure it doesn't contain any of these harmful preservatives. The next thing is these little mini bones. They're bacon flavored. And they're by Pure Love. Um, they're they're a little bit of a small side. Like, we're afraid she's going to choke on them. So that's why the bag is, like, still full. But they just look like this. Just like these little... Oh, they actually do smell like bacon. These are the Wagon Train by Purina Chicken Jerky Tenders. They're just... They just look like this. Just like this. They come in, like, all shapes and sizes. And they're, like, just chicken. Fried chicken. Um, she likes them, but she tends to not, like, chew her treats. And she swallows them whole, so they cause her to choke. So we have to break them up in, like, really tiny pieces. So we like the soft, like, jerky treats. Like, um... Kind of like the begging strips, but we don't give her those because they do have BHA in them. So, just the same consistency. Last but not least, oh, these are the Old Mother Hubbard um, original assortment oven baked dog biscuits. And they just kind of remind you of like milk bones, except they're like all different colors. And they're there's these little bones and we can give these to her whole because she won't choke on these so and now what you've all been waiting for i'm going to go grab my little ooty oh ooty girl say goodbye with me come on man this dog's in stand up in my chair bye hope you guys enjoyed be sure to like comment and subscribe for more cute poodles.
and makeup. Bye-bye. Yes, we also got her what's called a slicker brush because she has really kind of wavy, kinky hair, and this helps to brush it. And, and then we also got her this little collar. I forgot to mention it because it's too big for her right now. We grabbed this on sale at PetSmart, and it's just super cute. <laughs>